The Philippines rejects China's 2023 map, saying it has no basis under international law. A fire in a Quezon City t-shirt shop kills 16. The DOJ temporarily suspends the revised departure rules for Filipinos traveling abroad. Former Thai Prime Minister Taksin Shinawat returns to Thailand and asks for a royal pardon. Peace negotiator Miriam Coronel Ferrer wins the 2023 Ramon Magsaysay Award. Ticket prices and seat plan for singer Joji's Pandemonium concert are announced. And the 2023 Asia Artist Awards will be held in the Philippines in December. The Philippines rejects the 2023 version of China's standard map. In a statement, the Philippines' Foreign Affairs Department says China's latest map has, quote, no basis under international law. The map includes the 10-dash line map that supposedly shows China's boundaries in the South China Sea. A 2016 arbitral award earlier invalidated the 9-dash line, which China refuses to acknowledge. China has been relentless in asserting its baseless territorial claims, constantly harassing Philippine vessels in the West Philippine Sea within the Philippines' exclusive economic zone. It also shows Indian territory in disputed lands within China's boundaries, prompting a protest from New Delhi. The additional dash in the map is located east of Taiwan, China's attempt to assert its claim over the democratically ruled island. A fire raises a t-shirt printing shop in Barangay Tandang Sora, Quezon City, early Thursday, August 31. Sixteen died while three survived. The Bureau of Fire Protection raised the first alarm at 5.44 a.m. and declared fire out at 8.04 a.m. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. The owner of the house, a three-year-old child, and the shop's stay-in workers were among those who perished in the fire. One of the survivors says only one window provided an escape since other windows had grills. The fire chief says the house did not have enough exit points, calling it a fire trap. Chemicals used in the shop may have also caused the fire to spread rapidly. The Quezon City government says it's investigating if the shop had the necessary permits to operate. The Justice Department temporarily suspends the revised departure rules for Filipinos traveling abroad. This comes after criticisms and concerns from the public and lawmakers about the revised guidelines, where travelers must undergo questioning from an immigration officer about why they are traveling. The DOJ notes the temporary suspension does not affect existing laws on travel and immigration. On Wednesday, August 30, the Senate approved a resolution seeking suspension of the guidelines, which the DOJ says it acknowledges. The DOJ says it will address the lawmakers' concerns. On August 18, the Interagency Council Against Trafficking issued the revised rules to address human trafficking. Thailand local media reports billionaire former premier Taksin Shinawat submits a request for a royal pardon. He is currently serving an eight-year prison sentence for abuse of power and conflicts of interest after returning from 15 years of self-imposed exile last week. Upon his arrival, he was moved to a prison, but was transferred to a police hospital on his first night, citing chest pains and high blood pressure. Taksin's return coincides with political ally and fellow tycoon Seta Tawisin winning a parliamentary vote to become prime minister, with pro-military parties backing his Puatai party, founded by the Shinawat family. Taksin denies speculation he struck a deal with his bitter rivals in the conservative establishment and royalist military, which ousted him in a 2006 coup. Filipina peace negotiator Miriam Coronel Ferrer is one of the recipients of the 2023 Ramon Magsaysay Awards on Thursday, August 31. Coronel Ferrer chaired the government peace panel in negotiations with the Moro Islamic Liberation Front during the administration of late President Benigno Aquino III. Under her watch, the Comprehensive Agreement on the Bangsamoro was signed in 2014. The Ramon Magsaysay Award Foundation says Coronel Ferrer changed the landscape by highlighting the important role that women play in inclusive peace building. The award is considered Asia's premier prize and highest honor, the region's equivalent of the Nobel Prize. The award is named after Ramon Magsaysay, the seventh Philippine president. The other awardees are education champion Corvi Rakshand of Bangladesh, food sovereignty visionary Eugenio Lemos of Timor-Leste, and healthcare advocate Ravi Kanan of India. The ticket prices and seat plan for singer Joji's Pandemonium concert are released on Thursday, August 31. Ticket prices range from 3,500 pesos for upper box to 7,000 pesos for the VIP standing and seated sections. 
There are also VIP packages ranging from 18,030 pesos to 22,850 pesos with perks such as exclusive pre-show VIP screening and limited edition tour prints. Tickets will go on sale starting September 2, 10 a.m. via the Insignia Presents website or Ticketnet website and outlets nationwide. The November 28th show will be Joji's first solo concert in the country. Joji is best known for songs Slow Dancing in the Dark, Glimpse of Us, Gimme Love, and Yeah Right. It's going to be a very Merry Christmas for Filipino Hallyu fans. This year's Asia Artist Awards will be held in the Philippines on December 14 at the Philippine Arena in Bulacan. This will be the first time for the awards ceremony to be held in the Philippines. The AAAs are known for gathering the biggest stars in Korean entertainment. The 2022 edition held in Nagoya, Japan, gave awards to the likes of K-pop groups New Jeans, Blackpink, and BTS, as well as K-drama actors Kim Son Ho, Kim Se Jong, and Park Min Young. Guest performers and presenters have yet to be disclosed. The AAAs were founded in 2016 in Seoul, South Korea by Money Today, Star News Korea, and MTN. And that's today's wrap. I'm Marguerite De Leon. Thank you for watching. Click the link below for the full story. Follow us on Rappler's YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok.